Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with another post review of one of my recently completed diamond painting kits. If you've been around for a little while, you know that I love doing these reviews so we can take a really in-depth look at different kits from different companies. And hopefully this gives you a sense of what different companies have to offer, what things I've really enjoyed about them or challenges that I ran into. I do have a whole playlist dedicated to all the post reviews that I've done and there are a ton of different companies represented there so if you're if you're looking to you know see if I've covered a particular company or just want to go take a browse and see if you want to discover something new I'll have that playlist linked in the description box below feel free to go and take a look but what I have for you today is this absolutely gorgeous canvas called a furry familiar it's from craftably and is by the artist Kara Ann Aldridge now I have done um, one other kit from craftably and this artist and absolutely in love with both and have just all around had a really positive and amazing experience with craftably and i just felt like this kit really deserved a dedicated post review so that i could just share what i really love about this kit and this company now to my knowledge this kit is currently out of stock and may be discontinued i'm not sure if they've been able to renew their licensing agreement with this artist however as of the time of this filming i want to mention that craftably is running a really big sale Craftably has been uh, struggling on and off the past year and a half or so, and I appreciate how much the community has really tried to rally behind them. And I feel like they're just really one of those true gems out there in the diamond painting world, um, pun intended. <laughs> and uh, they just, they have top-notch customer service are some of the kindest and sweetest uh, owners out there and you guys their quality the quality of their kits and the rendering which you're going to hear me talk in depth about here is top-notch it's incredible and they're one of my favorite companies to work on kits from um, because I just truly truly enjoy every moment of working on their kits because the quality is so good and the rendering is amazing and I love how the their kits turn out so anyway let me give you a breakdown of the stats I do have here my this is my diamond painting logbook where I track the different kits that I'm working on once I you know started them I start tracking them I have over a hundred kits in here at this point um let me see where we're at here I did use my bookmark <laughs> as I'm failing here which by the way oh, I just saw this is the other one that I did from craftably on this artist called rainbow dreams I did a post review on this one I'll have it linked below if you're curious to so take a look okay here we go so uh, the stats on this one 57 by 73 centimeters 53 colors round drills and um, the colors included a bunch of ABs and crystal colors which I'll show you up close in just a bit I started this one on September 16th and it was a one-week kit September 23rd it was just that enjoyable to work on and moved that quickly I did work on this for the event drills and chills 2023 which is ongoing if you want to jump in and, and participate you're more than welcome to we're running through the end of October so anyway um, let me give you a little little tour of this canvas here so uh, she's a stunner, <laughs> an absolute stunner. Uh, as far as the materials go, the canvas material is really nice. Uh, it's holding the drills really well and laying flat nicely. The glue that, they, that, that Craftably uses is poured glue. And this should be the case, you know, if you were to buy a kit today as well, which is why I think post reviews are helpful, even of kits that might be discontinued, because hopefully this still lets you know what you can expect from a company like this, like, like Craftably, that these things should be consistent still. Um, one of my favorite things about this company, truly, <laughs> and it brings me back to them time and again, is their rendering style, which is how the original artwork has been translated into diamond painting form. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you'll see companies render the artwork. Sometimes they'll just use a computer program and they just they'll spit it right back out to you just as is without any modifications sometimes there is you know, people will do like a computer program and then have some level of touch-ups done by a human hand and some places basically do a ton of hand charting um i am by no means an expert in these programs or how they work this is just my general understanding and impression after three and a half years of diamond painting um but i can tell what i can tell you is that craftably very 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 clearly does a lot of hand charting one of the ways that you can really tell us tell this is the the clean 
lines that are here and a lot of really intentionally and carefully done things, especially in really highly detailed areas, uh, such as her hair, even the really clean shading in our little cat or familiar friend, um, the placement of the special drills that's done really deliberately, these highly detailed areas like the fishnets and the pleats and the pattern in her skirt. A lot of this just makes it really clear that this has clearly had a lot of human touch to it and I would call hand charted. Um, and that's just something that it's very much my style the way that they do things. It's totally fine if it's not your personal preference, but uh, for, for a lot of us, this is something we really, really, really enjoy. One thing, one other thing that Craftably does that I think is just amazing in combination with the fact that they do all this hand charting is that they include a lot of special drills in their kits. You'll have some AB diamonds, which are Aurora Borealis diamonds. Like we have this white AB throughout in the star. It's got like an iridescent coating on the top, kind of gives you like a rainbow effect a little bit. And it does stand out and sparkle more than the regular diamonds do. There's a ton of that white AB in here. And then we have these crystal diamonds. I think they might call them rhinestones on the listings on their website. Uh, but there's a few different colors of crystal rhinestones. Like there's two shades of purple in here. And um, there's this blue AB in her hair that's gorgeous as well. And so the special drill charting in Craftably's canvases is, is one of my favorite things. Uh, she has a really gorgeous like cherry red in her crystal in her lips. And then you can see more crystals in her and ABs in her hair. And I just, I love it. I think it's stunning. <laughs> I love it so much. And the crystal quality was really good. Uh, like the actual, the crystal diamonds themselves, because you know what you guys, sometimes crystals can just be really trash prone and you'll see ones that are really inconsistent in size and shape and don't wanna go down well, or they're kind of pushing against the diamonds around them. Craftably though, I did not have that problem and it was wonderful. It was just very easy, very relaxing to work on this piece because I wasn't worrying about poor drill quality. And that goes not just for the crystals, but also for uh, the other diamonds. I just found that across the board, Craftably has some of the best quality diamonds out there. I. I love them. I'm not, and you guys, I'm not an affiliate for Craftably at all. I, I buy these kits myself and um, I have zero, zero bias at play here. I truly am just speaking from what was genuinely, genuinely my experience here. Um, there's no hyperbole here. I really, really, really loved working on this, uh, on this kit and other Craftably kits. We had one, two, three, four, five, six ABs, a blue, a pink, a green, kind of an orangish yellow, a yellow and a white. And then we had four crystal colors, two purples and kind of a pinkish magenta. And then this cherry red, which was only in her lips and the others were in her hair. So plenty left over in every single color, which was really nice. Now, one thing I did run into and, and you know, this is, I think, you know, small potatoes and was not a deal breaker, but I'm gonna mention it because I try really hard to be fully transparent with you guys about my experience, but Craftably did have two sets of symbols, and I've run into this before, I should have known better. Two sets of symbols that were incredibly similar <laughs> to each other. These two did me in. I actually placed a couple of dozen, a few dozen of the wrong color down. I think it was in the cat, actually. I placed a bunch of the wrong color down and didn't realize until later that, oh shoot, no, that was supposed to be the other color and one was kind of a gray and one was a green. So I really did need to change those. So that kind of did me in, even though I typically am better about that sort of thing. And then these, it's just, they look to the same on the canvas, you guys, both of these did. The background colors, the subtle differences were not nearly as distinct on the canvas. So that was tricky. Um, I, I have run into that before and it's, to me, it's not, it's not going to be a deal breaker. It's annoying, especially when I have to pick diamonds off, but the positives far, far, far outweigh the negatives, just in my personal opinion. Again, this is all just my personal opinion. You are more than welcome to disagree. I acknowledge that obviously I'm sharing that like, oh, this is something that I loved. This was something that was not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you can disagree. <laughs> so um, I just, gosh, I loved this kit so much. The only other kind of bummer that I would probably share about this kit is just the fact that I, it has been out of stock for a while and I don't know that it's gonna be coming back. Um, and that just generally craftably doesn't have quite as much 
selection out there, but I know that kind of ties directly into some of the struggles that they've been having. And so I know that they're working really hard to try to get things turned around so that they can, you know, kind of rebuild and do lots more new releases and stuff like that. And so I'm planning to go do some, you know, shopping in their sale and hopefully support them and whatnot. Um, but that is something that I would say. And I've seen a lot of people say when I've posted reviews or unboxings of Craftably Kits, it's like, oh, it just, I didn't see anything that I wanted. And that's completely fair. Um, but do go and take a look because they do they do have you know some really really nice kits in stock and i think that at least hopefully what i'm showing you guys is going to be a fair representation of what overall quality you should expect even if it's not the same image so um this you know the the hand charting is still going to be there you're still going to get kind of this overall vibe and look as far as the charting goes you're going to have the same like you know canvas and glue materials and uh, the same drill quality and the same customer service which is amazing and top-notch seriously one of the best out there so all those things will remain the same even if you're looking at you know getting obviously different artwork or um yeah a different image or something like that so at least hopefully this kind of gives you that assurance that like the quality is there. It's so good. It's so good. So um, I also just really quickly want to thank my friend Jamie from she's Jamie paints over on Instagram. And she's actually the one who enabled me on this kit completely. I was I was visiting her. I saw her in person a while back and I actually saw this canvas complete and I was like, hold up. This looks amazing. I had no idea how well that kit was going to turn out. Like I'd seen the image on Craft of Blee's website before, but it wasn't really on my radar. But Jamie, like in one fell swoop, put it on my radar and I immediately was like, OK, I need to have that one. And it just sort of renewed my interest and excitement for Craftably because I was I just thought their their rendering is very, very much my style and I need to be showing them a little bit more love and working on their kits more often. And that, you know, sometimes when you work on a kit, you just don't know necessarily going into it how much you're actually going to enjoy working on it. There's a lot of different things that factor into that. A lot of that's the quality or, you know, if you enjoy with the colors that you're working with, or if you enjoy confetti versus color blocking, those sorts of things. And I just have found that consistently craftably kits, no matter what the color palette is or, or the exact artwork is, I'm just finding that I enjoy working on them. They're so relaxing and, uh, just, yeah, they're enjoyable. I'm using that word a lot, but just that to work on. So, um, this is the really gorgeous furry familiar again um if you're wanting to hopefully get your hand if you're wanting to try to get your hands on it uh somehow i recommend there's some d stash groups on facebook it may pop up in from time to time along with other craftably discontinued kits but in the meantime, I'm going to link to their um, their website and the sale section, which as of the time of this posting is active, depending on when you're watching, it might no longer be active. But uh, go and take a look and see. They've got a lot of what well, looks like really good markdowns. So I'm about to go do some shopping. But either way, I really hope that this review was helpful for you and um, that you enjoyed getting to look at one of my completed diamond painting kits and just hear my thoughts, my experience of working on it. Again, I'm not an affiliate. These are just truly my own completely unbiased and unaffected thoughts. So I, um, I appreciate that you took some time to watch though. And I'd love to hear what you think below. Have you worked on a craftably kit before? Do you have any, uh, you know, do you have this kit or any other kits from Kara Ann Aldridge in your stash? Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, and let me know if you pick up anything from the sale. So anyway, feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all my future diamond painting content. I'd love to have you and check out the post review playlist for more post reviews of completed diamond painting kits. And otherwise, I'm going to let you go. Have a day that's as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.